Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple page curl. Uh, all I've done so far is I've dragged an image into my Photoshop program and we're ready to start. Basically I'm going to be showing you a very common technique and you'll find that if you look out on any uh, images or websites or if you come across any other people showing you how to do a page curl, most people will be showing you how to do it this way which is with a transformation warp. It's a very simple effect, take you a couple minutes to get it right and you can tweak around with the gradient overlay and drop shadow that we'll add in later to make it look more realistic on, on the page or the background of the image. So first of all when, your image, when you've imported your image into Photoshop double click and unlock it and then first of all we're going to take the rectangular marquee selection tool from up here and depending which corner you want it on you just need to go down to the corner you want um, I'm going to have bottom right but you could do top left, top um, top right, bottom left as well, doesn't matter which one the effect will work on, all you just need to obviously choose the correct selection points, but I'll talk about that when we're doing the warp. So selecting the bottom right hand corner with the marquee tool and holding down uh, my shift key as well, I'm going to drag a nice square box out uh, about halfway down the middle across the middle width, and it doesn't have to go up too high because we're only concentrating on the, uh, on the corner here. Then go on to edit, transform and warp and I'm going to take the bottom right hand corner here and I'm going to drag it up just past these where these lines here intersect each other, intersect each other. so about where my mouse is now that's where I'm going to drag it up to just like that and I'll just let go there and hit return or just hit the tick up there and that will apply the effect and then just deselect by um, control D or option key D on a Mac and then all we need to do now is zoom in a bit more on the image because we're now going to select a path around the page curl that we've just created here so grabbing your pen tool from over here and just start slightly off the image because then when we fill it in a minute it's um, we haven't quite got the right if we were being a bit too precise we may uh, miss out the image ever so slightly which would leave a part of the curl on the page which wouldn't look that great so just select around your image curl here again don't have to be too accurate just make sure you get the, the tip points and uh, follow the curve round you don't need to worry about curving it manually with the pen tool but then just join it up like that and we're going to then create a new layer down here pop that above your image one if it hasn't and then just right click or um, two finger press on a Mac and make a selection for that layer and hit OK then just get your gradient tool make sure your foreground colour is white and fill it in white and then you can delete, deselect all of that and you can zoom out right so basically you can hopefully see now the page curl and what we're going for don't worry if um, you can see on mine the actual curve actually curves inward ever so slightly don't worry about that too much if you've got a large curve inside you might want to just edit that warp slightly you can pull the points up so that you actually straighten a bit of that inner curve but don't worry about it too much because it actually will um, help with the drop shadow when we put it in uh, before we go any further just make a new layer and drag it below your image and fill that in white too the reason I'm doing that now is so that you can you'll actually be able to see the gradient effects in the drop shadow from the image that we apply in this a second. You can remove it at the end and just hide it off but it's just so that you can get an idea of how it would look on a, you know, on a page background. So going up to layer 1 which is where our um, page curl is, right click and go blending options and we're going to add a gradient overlay so tick that one and again we want to choose an angle that's going to be coming in diagonally down across it. So drag over here um, around 155, 150 is about right so I'll leave mine on 100 and 153, that sounds good to me might be a bit low actually, it's just 150 will do and then we need to edit the colour so slightly so click you know around about location is 24, 25% and same up here with 70 um, actually no you don't need to do that one, just drag that one off so you've only got two so if you've still got that one up here just drag it in to 75 ish around percent leave that one white 
and then we're just going to play around with the grey so I'm just going to drag that down and that looks about right for me so that's 91991 if you want to use that or you know just yeah, a darker grey moving on to the white and hit OK and that looks quite good um, I'm happy with that so I'm just going to hit OK on that one now going back down to our um, our main image here obviously I want to put in a drop shadow so we can actually see it stand out on the page a bit more because although that looks alright you'd expect there to be maybe a little bit of shadow effect there so again right click and blending options and go on to drop shadow uh, you can leave it on multiply that's no problem and you want to set the angle to this pretty much the same that you had before so I think mine was 150 there thereabouts and drag the distance out again we can see our drop shadow coming in here and just increase the size up a bit as well because obviously that will help blend it into the page and actually that's probably fine as is but if you you know want to just drop the um, opacity down a little bit set mine down to about 50 and that will do nicely hit OK and um, there you are there's your drop shadow on your page now the, again I had that white one in so you could see I mean although you can just about sit there and that actually looks alright now if you want to put that on if you can upload that to a website somewhere um, and put that on that's no problem at all but putting the white background in just allows you to just see the uh, effect a little bit better anyway I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I hope you found it useful you'll find if you um, I don't think there's a a quicker way of doing it. Um, there may be a more precise way of doing it, but if you look around on the internet, uh, you'll find that a lot of tutorials suggest just doing a, a warp wrap uh, with it. So hopefully, again, this has been helpful to you. Please comment um, any questions you've got. Feel free, and um, I'll have another video up next week. Thanks, guys.